This is Josiah Plays, The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, Enhanced Edition. Okay. So I'm just exploring the woodlands, trying to find all of the things which can be looted, and all of the things which can be slain. And all of the things which can be discovered and maybe give me quests or little book bits of lore to read or basically anything. Anything you can in any way interact with, I want to find it. I have more than one circle activated at once. Ooh. Seriously, with all these traps, though. I wonder how many snares I can have in a stack. So this is a dead end. Here we are going along the wall of the town. Let's destroy some dummies real quick. Although I've definitely destroyed more than ten and I haven't gotten that thing, so I'm pretty sure... I have to destroy ten different ones, because destroying these other ones over and over is definitely not doing it. Saito says... Carol is the only hero in a video game who literally carries around dozens of dead fetuses at a time. Not to mention wear clothes and drink potions made from said fetuses. Given all the horrible things he carries around, how the hell does he get so much action? Well, you know. He's got what it takes. It's magnetic. It's not like people know he's carrying around fetuses. I just love spamming the medallion. I kind of want to go back to doing this at night time, also. Makes it easier to see the glowies. Of course, it's not really that dark at 8. I should have gone a little bit later. Yes, Saito, I'm sure that is actually one of the lines he uses.
I don't remember what's over in this area. Around the back side of the town here. Oh yeah, there's the ship. There, now it's officially nighttime. Probably starts at 9 p.m. At 8, it's, there's still quite a bit of light. Is this something I have to investigate for, like, quest or something? Oh, no, it's just one of those. remember any of this. This path that I'm on right now, I don't remember it at all. Those other ones I went up, I vaguely remembered. But this one, I don't. Get some Belize. Is it just dead end right here? No, I can go down another thing. Jump down right there. Oh, does this lead me back to the path that we came in on? I think it does. I think that just led me back to the entrance of the town. Well, that's not really what I wanted. Now I've got to run back through town. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or, your pouch and your life. This is not the way. <laughs> this is not the way. This over here is the way. Wait, there is a red dot on my map. Oh my god, that Indrega just fucked me up. Wow. An embryo. Well, you know, an embryo is not quite the same thing as a fetus. There's another one over here somewhere. But these markers on my map don't make any sense to me. What is this red marker right here? Those are the markers of the dead bodies? I don't know. The markers on the map in The Witcher 3 are much better. 
You can clearly see enemies coming. You can clearly see where the dead bodies are that you need to loot. Alright, I need to go this way again, but then not go the way that I went last time. Go the other way. Uh-oh. Game froze up. You have no idea, honestly. Um... Okay, hold on. So I need to not go this way, because going this way just leads me on that path around, right? Yeah, this is not the way. This is the way I just went, and it just leads around to the front of the town. I need to go... I'm trying to find... I don't need to zoom in that much. I want to see what's in here. See, I just passed it. Apparently I can't... take that passage. Doesn't it look like there's supposed to be a path right here that goes this way? Because it looks like that to me. Yeah, like literally right here. But I guess... Guess nothing I can go that way. Okay, so I've explored down here pretty much all of this. Is that a hostile Scoyotel? Here's the deal, noob. Just, just because it'll be funny. I'm gonna kill you with a snare. <laughs> Elven fucking senses what? <laughs> this is very rude to Scoia tell. Like, I'm sympathetic to the Scoia'tael. I'm trying to help you guys out. And they're attacking me. Oh shit. Wrong sword. Wrong sword. Wrong sword.
Just making sure I explored. They seem very accepting of your support for their cause, don't they? Yeah, not really. I mean, I've helped out Scoia'tael in game one. I lied for Melina. I already know who I'm siding with in the great debate. I'm pro Scoia'tael, guys. Haven't you guys got the memo? I'm not just some Dwan. I'm a Witcher. Wait, have I have I been this way? Oh, apparently not. Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Oh, good. Cedric I finally told found me this two place. People went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Branduber. I'm a medic from Edo, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Well, we'll get in a fight here, but first, there's some journal entries to read. In the Claws of Madness, not far from the ruins, Geralt found the first traveler. Rupert was sobbing by a tree, evidently looking for something. The moment he saw the Witcher, he started begging for help for his friend Gridley, who disappeared in the ruins. The Witcher heard the howling of Neckers and understood that this was no joke. He reached for his sword. Rupert. Gilt first encountered Rupert near the ruins of the asylum in the forest beyond Flotsam. The Adernian medic claimed he had come to the area with his friend Gridley in search of rare herbs. However, it appeared they had underestimated the dangers lurking in both the forest and the ruins. Alright. I cannot save at this- Oh! Hey guys! Wait, who are they fighting? Oh, they're fighting Rupert! Come on! Crazed Neckers. Alright, who else wants some while I got this fucking oil on? Got the oil on, I'm coming for you fuckers. I'm on the warpath. Alright, I know they're not down there. Is that it? Is that all the Neckers? Seriously? Don't tell me I put this oil on just to kill, like, five of you guys. Where are the Necker hordes that I'm expecting to come forth? And I leveled up, which is nice. I think that's it. I don't think there's any more knackers. Sato says you should yell that as you're cutting them down. I believe your cause is just decapitate Squintel Warrior. Uh ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Should totally yell that.
Good thing I could find some snares around here. Man, I was running low on those. Now I forgot, where's the guy? There he is. This is where I came from. I want to make sure I get all my loot. Find my companion, I beg you. If, in the course of me looking for loot, I happen upon your companion, then happy days for everyone. But, don't hold your breath. See, this is why nighttime is better. It's so much easier to see these. That way, they know you're not attacking their cause, just butchering their friends and family. Well, I mean, they attack me, you know? I'm not going out and looking for Scoia'tael to kill. They're attacking me. They should expect to get killed. Oh, there's the dog. And it's glowing as though I can do something. Can I get some dog tallow off that or something? Alright, obviously that's where I go in to the place, but, you know, we have looting to do first. Important looting to do. Orins. Just some random orins. Really like this quest? Yeah, so do I. So do I. This one's really cool. I remember it. It's one of those ones you do not forget. In the Claws of Madness. Had to get some white myrtle. Oh, good. A snare. Just looking for all the loots, that's all. Why is it making that sound? As though I've activated something special, like a place of power or whatever. Maybe I have, but I can't activate it again because I've already... Alright, I think I'm ready to go down there. You have a very small chance of getting the best steel sword of the game, the Banshee... Well, I never got a... never got that here. What do you mean a small chance? I, th I didn't know that things had, like, small chances to happen in this game. I thought all the special swords and loot and stuff all dropped in very specific places. Alright, let's do my level up here. I think I'm taking my last talent up here. Yeah, I want level 2 parrying, and then I'm done with this tree, and I'll be moving on to other things. Some of them are random drops. Oh. Okay. Yep, this motherfucking place. Yep. 
Anything new here that I want to read about? No? Okay. This place is creepy. Here we go. Than those here they were. Oh, the green. Yeah, this is what I remember. After entering the hospital's basement, Geralt experienced something even more paranoid than, than paranormal than the usual fare for a witcher. He saw a ghost that sent him a vision. Everything around them started to burn, and the specter, in true ghostly fashion, passed through the wall into the next room. Geralt recovered and followed it, though not through the wall. Yeah, this is cool with the fire. Find the specter in the next room. Hmm. Hospital files and hospital records. We'll read those before we do this fight. All the pages have been removed, only the cover remains. Uh, I can't read that, but I can read this. Medical record of patient number 71. The patient has contracted dysentery. There is no hope for him now. I had him isolated and ordered that prayers be said for him. I also increased the dosages of his herbs. They seem to have some healing properties, but incidentally also loosen tongues. My first wraiths. I'll probably die. I did die. I did die. We'll do better this time. Do I have Spectre Oil? Yes, I do. Shit, you stink. Oh, God. Wow, that went really badly. They do a lot of damage. A lot. I need to prepare for this a little bit better, I think. We're gonna drink some potions. Yeah, I was just thinking that about Erden.
Holy shit. Ah, oh, they attack so fast. You swing and then you try to dodge away and they've already hit you. Okay, we do this. Wait, what? Oh, I drank cat? I didn't mean to drink cat. Shit. No, I don't want cat. No, sir. I meant to drink swallow and rook. Alright, we'll drink the potions, we'll apply the oil, then I'll quick save again. So we don't we don't have to do any of this again on on future deaths, which I think we already know there are going to be future deaths. Spectre oil. Quick save. Come on. Holy fuck, dude. It's not in a good place. No! Oh, I was about to dodge away because I sensed that he was about to attack. I did better that time. I killed one of them. Should have got the second one, but I fucked up. Yeah, wraiths are always hard. How many more can there be? Oh god, I'm just getting destroyed here. Yep, sense that was gonna happen. I wonder if I can axe one of these. Axie is the way fucking forward in this fight. Oh, 
All right, now though, now it's back to Irden. Yes, I got him. Okay. Search the hospital, find Gridley. Essence of death, that's one of the four things I need for the... What you may call it? Alright, let's make sure the game knows that I read this. Okay, there we go. Crazy ghost man. And I? And you? What about you, Nilfgaardian ghost? Were you an innocent? I'm not about to play Seven. the fire. The involuntary cramps of the facial muscles. It's St. Vitus syndrome. He's dripping. He's dangerous. Lock him up. <laughs> this quest is cool. So bad things were done here, is what I'm getting. Bad, bad things were done here. It's the way this is starting to seem to me. No! Set them against each other. Damn! I got off to the, a really bad start that time. Really bad start. Come on. I'll stand here and regenerate. Yes, I got him. Has anything good ever happened in a mental institution in a game? Good point. Generally, mental institutions in games are always sites of incredible horror and evil and madness. Well, I mean, madness is kind of implied, but... There's never been like the friendly, happy mental institution. Ooh, Hospital Files 1, Sumerian Special Forces Cockade, a Thumper, and a bunch of other stuff. Place lures in the pocket slots in the inventory. Alright, uh, Robust Cutlass. Hmm. This does considerably more damage. Bleeding and Poison, I'd have to put another Fire Rune in it in order to, uh, make it do the fire thing that my sword does. 
So if I put if I equip this robust cutlass. And I put a fire rune in there. Then it's considerably better. A thumper is a lure. Bulvor and Rotfiend lure. Interesting. Oh, it's an armor enhancement. Plus two armor. Cool. Hospital Files 1. Medical record of patient number 14. The woman manifests strong symptoms of schizophrenia. To avoid marring her beauty, I decided not to employ the standard therapy. The red hot circlet. That's the standard therapy for schizophrenia as a red hot circlet? This place is crazy. This is worse than Arkham Asylum. But instead to increase her herb dosages. As she was prone to having fits of aggression, I have had the patient chained. The pictures she has painted on the walls should be analyzed. All right, we've beaten two wraith I'm pairs. I beg you, help! Give me some medicine. They deserve to suffer. I beg you. The Snuff Guardian's ghost medicine. is mad. Let's keep the patients mellow on them herbs. Yeah. I beg you, help! Give me some medicine. Those are the things scrawled on the wall. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. The floor. It's moving. It's creeping towards me. Right, that looks creepy. No way. Oh, here's the guy. What did I just do? Oh, I just cast an Urden. Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine. A sedative. Gotta find some oh of them herbs. My. Phantoms, like people, know how to set traps. Geralt followed the specter and was attacked by a horde of hungry wraiths. As he started to defend himself, he noticed a chest standing against a wall. The chest contained some doctor's notes. These stated that the medical staff had carried out experiments on the mentally ill. Geralt read on and learned that a group of soldiers had brought a Nilfgaardian prisoner to the hospital. The soldiers had wanted to interrogate him, but the notes did not reveal how that story ended. Geralt started searching the mansion, looking for signs Gridley might have left. Finally, Geralt managed to find Gridley. The poor soul was trying to keep imaginary specters at bay, raving about a fire and a girl that died in it. Geralt had to look for tranquilizers. Hello, ghost. Excuse me, ghost. Whatever happened, no way! Even on those who are mad. Yeah. Yeah, bad, bad shit went down here. That's what I'm getting. Bad, bad shit. No way! Sigils of madness no have been inscribed upon the walls in, you know, blood, or whatever. Guess never learn. Oh god, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped! Oh, 
I killed it. All right. Oh fuck! <laughs> Was not expecting another one right there. If I run in this room, can I regenerate and be left alone? No! Oh, come on! How did it hit me from there? It had to move forward onto the earth and that's what was supposed to happen. Oh, fighting him in that, in that little tight enclosed space is uh, very bad. Very, very bad. I don't even know. Lee! Lee! Control. It's not what's fight won't get. Maybe the Go away! Leave me alone! No! Alright, we read this, we read this. Ridley. Rupert's friend was in a dire state, lost amidst somber ruins in a wilderness forsaken by gods and humans alike. Geralt found him easily and learned more about him, including what had led him to take such risks. Okay, so we, we know there's nothing over here, right? Like, there's just... To the bone. To the stone. Is it more? happened here? No matter. Quite an impression. Clean it. Even on those who are mad. Where's it all from? Must clean it. To the bone. To the stone. Is it mine? No matter. Clean These guys are creepy. This whole thing is El, El Creepo. Is it just the one right now? Coming? Yep, it's coming. Oh, seriously, it just got hit by the Yurden, and then it jumps up and just hits me. Come on. That's not. That's not fair. That's not right. These things are very hard to fight in these quarters. Medication for Gridley. Geralt found a bottle of medicine, which he brought back to the hospital. Hospital files and medical notes. Medical record of patient number 19. The eldest of our residents. This patient has been with us longer than any other. Cold water therapy has failed in his case, and there seems to be no promise of improvement. I have had him chained and reduce his food rations to weaken the strength of the illness and limit his self-destructive tendencies. I have begun to employ herbs. These people are not taking very good care. This is not good patient care. Not at all. Not at all. Medical notes on patient 15. The patient is persistently delusional. He claims to have been abducted by the wild hunt. 
He recounts fantasies of a world where genocide happened and where unicorns wander human graves. Sometimes his delusions contain elven gardens. Furthermore, the patient claims that when he escaped the hunt's captivity a year ago, so much time had passed in our world that he saw the graves of his children. Wow, now there's some foreshadowing. What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes. Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story? There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilfgaardian. He was desperate to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. Uh -oh. By torturing him. Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel. But Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. That's handy. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. We took ever greater liberties with the patients. That doesn't sound good. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, quickly. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet, and willing. Two nights later, Fuck. she slit our commander's throat, and that was all we saw of her, and of the map, of course. The war was ongoing, and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are. Back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then. And Rupert's had it even worse. Good. You guys deserve this it. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. Away. Find the Nilf Guardian's Wraith. There he is. Go away! Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Alright. Calmed by the medication, Gridley talked of past events. He and Rupert had been stationed in this place years ago. They had killed the priest who tended to the ill and tortured a captive Nilf guardian, hoping to learn the location of a huge treasure. They set a fire to cover their tracks and abducted the most attractive patient. Hearing this story, Geralt understood that the place was cursed and that finding the tormented Nilf guardian's ghost was the key to the matter. Yeah, basically they were a whole bunch of evil and they got what they deserved. Fuck them. Something was missing from his story, however. Rupert had been a medic in a field hospital during the war. He and his friends had committed a crime back then. 
Years later, the wraith of the Nilfgaardian soldier they had tortured to death summoned them to the scene of the crime, so to have its revenge. Yeah, they're pleasant chaps, right, Saito? Ridley had been stationed in the area during the war. His unit had tortured an Elfgardian soldier to death, all in the name of finding a treasure. Years later, the murdered man's wraith used its power to force Ridley and Rupert to return to the site of their crime. And all my potions have worn off. Go away! And my game is saved. And we will proceed through the rest of this underground, haunted, cursed ghost hospital for the insane in our next episode. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition.